TikTok knows you better than your friends, family, and even yourself. But the only reason why I know this is because I watched a thousand TikToks in a row to see how quickly it could build a For You page that suits me. And throughout this journey of actually destroying my brain, I found out a lot of things that you definitely don't know TikTok does. And a lot of it is pretty smart, but creepy as hell. Did you see this? But you'll, you'll find about that later. For now, here's my introduction. Hi, I'm Thomas. I don't watch TikTok at all and I hate mayonnaise. To get the best results for this experiment, I had to make a completely fresh TikTok account on my computer. Then I started watching. Surprisingly, watching 100 TikToks only took me 13 minutes. But that was only because it was trying to find my interests. Usually when you first make a TikTok account, it's gonna ask you to do things like ADD YOUR FRIENDS or LET ME SEE WHERE YOU ARE! They do this because they need to give you relatable and interesting content as fast as possible. So by adding your friends and sharing your location with the app, it can show you videos your friends watch and videos videos people in your location watch. It's basically a race to get you trapped in the algorithm as fast as possible. But for this experiment, I didn't share my location, add any friends, and didn't give them any of my interests. So they had no idea who I was at all. But I quickly realized something sketchy was going on. When you first start a TikTok account, you would think that it would just show you a bunch of generic viral videos, like dancing, sports, Roblox twerking compilation, or Mr. Beast. And I did get some of those videos, but the majority of TikToks that I saw felt familiar and targeted at me. What? So how do they get information about me without me giving it to them? Cookies. The things that websites ask you to accept all the time. Yeah, they just, they just stole your data. And also some websites put trackers on you so they can analyze your behavior. So the way TikTok gets more info out of you is by scouring the internet for information on you that's being tracked. Then it gives you a personalized feed based on what it sees with the trackers. And you might be thinking, oh, he's on computers, so of course that's gonna happen on- it, it happens on your phones, too. It's happening right now on your phone as we speak. You just don't even know it. I know! But trust me, this is only the tip... ...of the iceberg. So videos 1 through 100 went by the quickest, because I was skipping through a ton of stuff. But I was being recommended familiar video styles, EXCEPT ROBLOX! I got so many Roblox videos, you have no idea. An hour and 15 minutes later, I arrived at video 500, which is insane. I just went through 500 videos in one hour, but it was starting to find out more about me. TikTok finds out what videos and topics you like by showing you a bunch of random stuff. Then it narrows down the selection by seeing what you watched the longest and what you interact with. So like liking, commenting, sending it to friends, all that stuff. This line right here perfectly describes it. Yep. So the videos you scroll past immediately will not be shown to you as much because you have told TikTok you don't want to watch those videos. So from videos 100 to 500, it found out my interests were space, music, basketball, cooking, and president memes for some reason. It was also trying to figure out what age I am, so it was showing me a mix of brain rot kid no videos and adult video- Not adult video- like- Videos f for adults. <laughs> because I'm in the middle of that range. But by the time I got to video 500, it had a pretty good idea of who I was. So I decided to run a little experiment. Right now, I'm going to try and force the algorithm to give me any of my other interests. So I'm going to stop watching these space videos and hope... Well, not hope. I know it's going to recommend me those things. You can, you can quote me right here. It's going to give me basketball, music, presidential stuff, maybe cooking. So I want to see in how many videos it can, it can get me there. So I stopped watching these space videos to force the algorithm to give me one of my other interests. And I wanted to see how quickly I could get it to flood my feed with this other topic. And the results were giant! Cooking! That only took 12. It already got me cooking. Cooking again. Okay. That was exactly 12 videos. Uh, not 12. That was exactly 20 videos until I got another cooking one. And it's another burger! Do you see what's going on here? It's gonna show me another cooking video, but it's probably not gonna be a burger next time. Do you see this? Well, it's not- it's not cooking, it's- it's still food. So I'm gonna watch this whole video and then it's gonna show me a bunch of food and cooking stuff. See, this one is related to food. I'm gonna skip it because I don't want that. And now it's more food! More food. Steak. Food! Food! You see how in these 100 videos you could just, like, that. this is how it works. I stopped watching the space videos, I didn't get 
any space videos and I, I probably got a couple at the beginning but now it's mostly food i successfully made the algorithm switch my interest by video 600 and so moving on to the next 100 videos i decided to conduct the same experiment but on a specific interest of mine balls basketballs i wanted to see if the algorithm was so simple that i could manipulate it into giving me whatever i wanted but i quickly learned that this was not the case at all and i learned something pretty scary so what i did was i skipped everything that wasn't basketball it was still recommending me lots of food videos and other interesting videos but if it wasn't basketball i was skipping it and after a while of doing that i am proud to tell you it thought i was a girl it thought i turned into a girl i started seeing more women creators and stuff women are interested in generally if i'm being honest i am not interested in dresses at all it kept showing me dress videos i don't i don't like that so this is confusing right it's like it thought an entirely different human being was using the app and that is absolutely correct so let's say me and my theoretical younger sister right here say hi how the how the, what is your name my name is malik and i can't wait to see where life takes me in the years to come and we both watch TikTok on the same iPad, because we're iPad kids. She would log on to TikTok on the iPad and see a bunch of my interests, cooking, basketball, whatever. And she would just keep scrolling past it, because that's not what she wants to watch. And at some point, it'll start recommending her, her types of videos. So it can recognize when different people are using the same app. TikTok is freaky, freaky, freaky. That took place from video 600 to 700. So from video 700 to 800, I watched the videos that were interesting to me and I didn't skip any of them. And then I was actually shown a bunch of basketball videos, like back to back to back basketball. All you have to do is keep watching the videos it knows you like and it will give you more of that stuff. And if it sees you switching over to watching something else, it'll give you more of that. So we are now on our last 200 videos, and this is where I learned the most about this app. Up until now, we know that it gets your data from anything you do on the internet. It's very good at finding what your interests are, and it knows when there's a different person logged on to the same app you would use. These last 200 videos are going to be a repeat of the last experiment. Except I learned something completely different that basically makes you not able to make decisions for yourself. Please let me explain. I wanted more videos about music, but we already know we can't force it. So I was patient and watched all the music TikToks to the end when they popped up. But what also happened is that it was recommending me videos that I did not even know existed. And apparently I liked them because it was like the only thing it was showing me. So this means once TikTok has a good read of who you are, it can force you to watch stuff that you don't even know exists. But it goes deeper. This is going to sound completely dystopian, but if you really think about it, when you're scrolling and using this app, you don't have free will. It controls what you're interested in, what you talk like, who you interact with, what music you like, everything. All of this combined with the fact that it knows your usage patterns throughout the hours of the day and the days of the week means that it will always shove stuff in front of your face that you'll enjoy and want more of. Let me ask you this, how many times have you gone on TikTok and you end up getting addicted to a certain type of video for a long time then you turn your phone off and you're like, what is going on? That is the algorithm getting in your head and making you do what it wants you to do, which is stay on the app as much as you can because the more you use the app, the more TikTok profits, the more all the creators profit from you. But you're probably thinking that it's the same with all the other social media platforms too. And yeah, you are correct, sadly. The reality is that these apps use short-form content because it's the easiest way to build a profile of you. So everything you see around you is targeted towards you because the internet knows exactly who you are and how you will react to what you see because it controls you through these social media apps. I think I'm the first person to get a haircut mid-video. Anyways, TikTok was able to get a pretty accurate for you page in just over an hour, which was around 500 videos. But I think if I did it on my phone, it would have been less time, guaranteed, 100 hands down. So now you know how crazy the TikTok algorithm is and how it actually works. And and look at your, look at that brain. Wow. Oh my God, that's big. None of the stuff in this video is facts. It was just my interpretation of what I was experiencing. So agree with me. If you want, I don't really care. What I do care about is you hitting that subscribe button and having a bidet, day, I mean day. I just, I just made your brain expand, right? So I think you should just watch another video. Like I'll do that again and again and again. Are you, just click that video right there. Click it. Sorry, just please click.